What is up everybody, my name is S and well, I haven't uploaded anything for like a year, I guess because of life, but anyway, I've been playing on this career mode for like a bit now to the point where a lot of my contracts are about going into planetary, and since I also have quite some money, I might as well build a mining base. And this mining base that I'm about to build would have all of the module be on wheels, so they can all be moved easily. And as you can see, uh, I've built a tanker which would deliver fuel from uh, Minmus to low carbon orbit, and I've also built the command module for the station. Okay, and here we go with the launch. But turn out, the rocket is aerodynamically unstable. And you guessed it, it's not going to space anytime soon. Uh, it's nice to witness these kind of failures now and again. Well, anyway, I've made the fins larger to make the rocket more stable. And although the rocket looks really ugly, but hey, it gets the job done. Okay, detaching the booster, and now we're on the second stage. And uh, at the end, I'm actually gonna use the tanker itself as a third stage to get into orbit. Okay, finally, at the end, we're actually gonna undock the command module and then reverse it around and redock it again. Okay, now we're ready to launch other modules off the base to meet up in low carbon orbit and to finally go on a cruise to Minmus. Okay, so now we're launching two more payloads, one of which is a mining unit and the other one is a tugger that can be used to tow things around. And everything is pretty much the same as the last launch, except for this time the tugger is going to be used as a third stage. We're on the final push. And dock. Okay, now we're just gonna transfer the fuel around a bit. And we'll have to spin the tucker around because the engines have to be facing the same side as the tanker. Okay, so now we are going to dock this base to a refueling station that I just launched. And the station is going to stay in low carbon orbit so that multiple spacecraft can come and refuel at the station. Okay, now we're docked, but then an anomaly occurred. Ah, uh, turn out Kraken does not like our space program that much. Ouch. And it's a pretty clean cut as well, so there's no recovering from that. Anyway, let's try docking again. Okay, this time we're gonna face the station nose first, and let's see if it would work or not. And Ah, uh, Kraken still hates our guts, doesn't he? Okay then, plan B it is. So what is plan B you ask? Well it's basically to just transfer two of the crews I've brought up with the station to the command module on the base. And you can see Valentina is now on board and then Zelda Kerman is leaving the station and now boarding the base. Okay, now both crews are on board and are waiting for their next assignment. Okay, now we're going to bring this tugger to dock with a module that I just launched, which is the ISRU unit. And in fact, this is going to be the last important module for this base. Okay, and dock. Wait, what? Not again? 
No! Okay, calm down, calm down. I guess this docking arrangement for the base is really unstable, so I guess some redocking is needed to be done. So, uh, enjoy the time lapse! It appears that the station is in one piece. Okay, now let's begin our journey to Midmus. Okay, now that we're in orbit around Minmus, let's land each module on a site that I have already marked with a flag. Whoops! Uh, reload. And finally, the base is con- Really? And... It seems like the base is finally complete. Now we are going to let the base operate and fill up the tanker, and then we are going to perform a demonstration flight, which includes taking the tanker to refuel the refueling station, which is way back in low Earth orbit, and then we are going to take the tanker and fly it back to base.
Okay, now we are back at our base. The flight went pretty much flawlessly, and the system has been proven to work. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, and remember, don't explode.